Good evening. Welcome to Live Fridays. I'm Melton Thomas with the E-Vision Business Center. I have in front of me Mr. Lyndon Fair. He's one of our newest members. And he's going to tell us a little something about himself. Okay, my name is Lyndon um, Fair. I'm native of Spartanburg County. I'm born and raised. Um, I went to the Army for um, eight years, served two tours of combat. Um, I came back home, you know, and heard about E-Vision Business Center and what they do for veterans and um, entrepreneurs. And I'm starting out, so, you know, I wanted to be a part of that. Well, that's outstanding. I'm glad you're a part of, you become a part of the Business Center. But what I want to know is, how can the Business Center help you accomplish your mission? Well, you know, I grew up in the not so better parts of Spartanburg. And, you know, I'm always working for someone else barely making ends meet and things like that. Coming from the military, I have a lot of skills that aren't really being put to good use. And now um, I want to try to put my own skills to use for my own benefit. Um, show that somebody growing up from an impoverished neighborhood in Spartanburg County can become their own business owner, become their, a business owner and work for themselves and provide for, them family, for their own families their own way. Okay. Stop. Go. One of our big things here at, at the Business Center is that we work out in the community. And we know that you're part of the Vet360 program, which is a big part of the E-Vision Business Center. But the big thing we want to know about is that we have a thing coming up called Operation Stand Down, which is sponsored by Operation Restoration, CDC, which is had by Sergeant Major Tracy. Have you heard about that program? Yes, um, I'm currently using benefits from the last um, Operation Stand Down. Um, with veteran transition assistance and um, the program helped me find um, suitable housing for me and my children. Also find a, a suitable job with my skill sets that I obtained from the military. Outstanding. <laughs> Just last month, our Concept Nerd program, which is young entrepreneurs who provide service in the community, they provided digital support for the Claflin Alumni Visionary Gallery at Spartanburg and Marriott. These young entrepreneurs who also have their own businesses, provide service and community, which is a priority effort in what we do here at eVision. My primary goal, my, my dream was to be a fighter pilot. That's all I wanted to do growing up. Um, any video game dealing with airplanes, fighter pilots, I, I was always up there. Um, I always had to get, I always had to learn the simulators and things like that. But um, after 9-11 and I graduated, um, the Air Force, um, and then they had a program called Operation Blue to Green where it was transitioning folks from the Air Force and Navy to Army and Marines because they, they were over full or uh, they were full. So um, the recruiter actually stopped recruiting in this area when it was time for me to join up. Mm -hmm. um, I had to wait a year because my parents were kind of iffy about me joining so I had to wait till I was 18 to be able to join myself. Um, but when I went to the office they told me to wait a year. So, you know, I went back to my old job, um, working at uh, a rest fast food restaurant, you know, until the year was up. When that year was over, I went back to the recruiting office, ready, you know, um, and the office has been shut down this whole time. Mm -hmm. And um, at that time, you know, I made a good enough um, ASVAB score to where the, at the duty home recruiters were recruiting me. So I was like, I don't know if active duty really my thing, if it's not, jets and, and planes so mm -hmm. I had to find something I know that I could really do um, and just so happened the National Guard recruiter told me hey why don't you you know join the military intelligence to get you a clearance something you can do post military and I thought about that most recruiters never talk about life outside the army so that was a goal that I could you know pursue outside of the military whether I liked it or not I would have that to fall back on. So that's why I chose the National Guard. And to join the military, it's, it has its ups and downs, but it was a great experience. It got me out of Spartanburg for one. That's cool. It got me to see that the world doesn't revolve around Spartanburg. There's a lot more um, that, to offer. That's correct. Gentlemen, uh, black gentlemen, young gentlemen mm -hmm. um, in particular. So, you know, I got to go see different states, go see Egypt, go see Germany. I, um, I deployed to Iraq, so you know, mm -hmm. seeing those different cultures, seeing how other people live versus how we live, is well, first of all, it's a humbling experience, mm -hmm. and also it's one that I can always carry with me. Something that always in the back of my mind, like we complaining over trivial things, 
They don't have lights and water. They don't have certain toiletries that we take for granted. So, That's true. you know, that was a very humbling experience, you know, just to see the other cultures of the world mm -hmm. don't have it. Some just don't plan out, don't have it as great as we do. So I always keep that in the back of my mind when I talk to um, young gentlemen wanting to go to the military. My aunt always told me, Sparnberg will always be here. So with a family, so with a drama. Go out and experience life. Do something that you would never have done or you never can do in Sparnberg. So I tell everybody that can, go join. Make the memories that you came to Sparnberg. There you go. Hey, I'm Elton Thomas. This is Live Fridays. I'm here to tell you that this is our roll up for the week. And so we accomplished a lot of things at E Business Center. As you see, we have our new member. He joined us this week. He also brought along with some other individuals uh, that decided to join the center. We also did a site assessment out with Daniel Tires, where he actually brought us some information to help him get his digital media up and going. We have an event where we've been working with CASA Systems down in Orangeburg. We're going to put our concept nerds on that, which is a digital piece where we got young entrepreneurs that are going to go down and provide some network infrastructure to that environment. We also helped out one of our members, uh, we saw him last night, named Scooter Raw. He performed up at the Comedy Zone up at Greenville, did an awesome job, and now he now has a digital footprint. He came and sat in with us this morning and put himself on TV, and now he has a Facebook presence to get himself off the ground. We've been up and rolling with a lot of our members, showing them that we have a business luncheon coming up in the next week or so, out at Select. Is that correct? And um, that's where you get a chance to network and talk and you guys can collaborate on, their, on your businesses. Speaking of that, Bless Motors just received her dealer's license yesterday. Awesome. And now she can actually go out and go to the auction and get cars. She joined us three weeks ago. And um, she's doing wow. great with that. And I know a lot of them just saw the article in the paper. And it's becoming a place where veterans can come. And we're going to keep doing that. If we roll into our Operation Stand Down, which is led by one of our members, Sergeant Major Tracy, who is also the part of the Operation Restoration, CDC. And then we also have Reinvest Veterans. It's going to put us over the hump to get us in to bring in more veterans, because that's what the business center is for, to get veterans involved and we help your business grow.